Time to play with some clay. Somebody asked me about yesterday. They asked me to kind of give them an idea of how I like my uh, subjects, uh, the clay that I work on. Uh, how do I set it up in my studio? All right, let me tell you. And I'm gonna try to cover the light from the side window. I've got one swing arm lamp with a, uh, I think it's a 100 watt, uh, uh, one of those uh, halogen lights or one of the ones that don't heat up uh, above my uh, table on the left and I've got it mounted on a wood platform that I put up there to um, kind of hold it in place and make it steady and then I've got another swing arm lamp with the same kind of light and I've got it on a shelf up here uh, that uh, over the above the sculpture here now this is the setup that I've got uh, for uh, videoing my sculptures as well as uh, uh, photograph uh, or working under a, a light that's adjustable. Both those uh, lamps up there are uh, swing arm lamps and they both can be adjusted to uh, different areas above the sculpture to give it different uh, um, shadows and stuff like that. It, 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 all a sculpture does is it moves shadows around and that's basically all I am is a shadow pusher. <laughs> anyway, that's a term I came up with years ago. This is uh, my camera mount and I've got it uh, hooked up to the side on another platform that I put up for it. Uh, that's a uh, small rig uh, frame that holds my GoPro uh, Hero 8 and uh, that's another Hero 8 uh, or small rig uh, frame that I'm, I put my Hero 8 in and I've got it mounted on a jury rigged <laughs> platform there and I've got my clay down here softening under another swing arm lamp. This one has an actual 100 watt uh, light bulb. I have to turn my heat on in here because it's so cold. You can see outside it's snowing and right now it's right at 30 degrees uh, Fahrenheit. And uh, I got to keep it warm in the studio when I work on my clays. And um, so I have to have a 100 watt bulb over my clay to keep the clay soft. Uh, it's uh, almost five o'clock and I'm probably not going to get much chance to do anything today but uh, I spent the day getting all my uh, horse anatomy pictures all put together and I'm just uh, getting ready to start working on this and I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to just call this video today uh, uh, just an informative video on how I set up my studio and uh, let me get back further and you can see a little bit clearer what I do those are my 24 inch uh, maquettes up there I got two female and one male uh, 24 inches and this is a I, I guess that's about a almost a foot tall uh, maquette there and of a man and this is my latest edition it's a female figure and then I've got some uh, skulls that uh, all these are from anatomytools.com and uh, they're not cheap but they're you know not any good reference material is worth every dime you spend on it because if you've got good reference material you've got uh, your quality and your sculpting goes up as long as you can sculpt what you see this is a clay i did of uh 
life-size clay I did of uh, Henry Roman nose. He was a Southern Cheyenne. And, uh, but I built a shelf here to hold all my clays. And, uh, and I got my rigged figure for my horse over there, here. I haven't taken it off of the, the uh, rig yet. But anyway, this is my little area of my garage. Uh, when the wind blows like this, uh, that wall back there uh, moves because it's just a garage door with a board, a uh, big uh, bunch of uh, plywood boards over it blocking off the uh, door. Uh, I don't need a garage there because uh, my garage that I use is over here at the other end of my studio. That's my heater up there. And uh, so this is the area I work in. I try to set up my tables to uh, and try to keep them straightened around so I can work on my uh, sculptures uh, with my reference materials and stuff like that and my tools. All right, that's going to be it for my studio today, and I will be down here working on my clay tomorrow. I just ran out of time. I was busy with other things today. Had a friend I talked to this morning who uh, literally died in a car accident and came back, and uh, she wanted to tell me about that experience, and it was moving to hear it. But anyway, that's another thing. All right. Yes, there is an afterlife, babies. There is an afterlife. All right, everybody. Good night. And I'll see you next time. Please give me a like and a subscribe. And ring the little bell. Also, don't forget I have instructional videos available now online. The link below this video shows you a link to a review of all nine videos. Later, everybody. Good night.